Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on our webinar on how to uh, create social media approval workflow with Numli. My name is Louise. I am with the US Success team. And today, it will be my colleague Mike answering any question you might have on the Q&A section of this webinar. So, um, so today we're going to uh, break down the process of creating a great collaboration workflow to set you up for success using Lomri. Uh, let's dive in. The first step is get the right people involved. Depending on how you operate, you may need to grant your collaborators different roles with different permission. And this is something you will set up right here. Loomly comes with four default roles right at your disposal. Just to show you where I am, I am in a calendar setting collaborators. So we have editor, client, contributor, and viewer. Each role comes with a different set of permissions and access levels tailored to fit different needs within Loomly. Editor has full control over content and collaboration, but they can create, edit, view, and delete content, as well as assign tasks, update post statuses, schedule posts, and comment. However, they cannot change ownership of the calendar. Contributor can create, edit, and view content, but they cannot delete unless they have created the post. They can comment, assign tasks, and submit posts for approval, but they cannot approve or schedule a post. They also cannot invite new collaborators. Client can view and delete posts, but they cannot create, edit, and access draft posts. They have full collaboration privileges, including assigning tasks, updating post statuses, scheduling, and commenting. Like contributors, they cannot invite new collaborators. As the name suggested, uh, viewers can only view posts and comment on them. They cannot create, edit, delete, assign tasks, update post statuses, schedule posts, or invite uh, new collaborators. So additionally, we offer right there. So it allows you to create tailor-made, uh, let me show you everything, here we go. So it allows you to create tailor-made sets of permission for each of your team members in a more granular and flexible way. Not only can you decide how your collaborators interact with features and content within each of your calendars, but you can also limit the time frame of the post they can see. This is particularly useful for collaboration with a pre-established end date. So now that we understand that not all team members need to be involved at every step, and this is why Loomly allows you to assign the right team members to the relevant post. So let's have a look at the post right now to show you that. So once assigned, each collaborator is notified by email through a push notification on mobile or via Slack or Microsoft Team if you have enabled those integration. Uh, you can also assign multiple collaborators to a post, allowing them to participate in the approval and publishing process together. For example, here, I have myself and my colleague Pete. And if your team works in batches and you would prefer to notify your collaborators once an entire calendar is ready for review rather than assigning individual posts, you can use the notify a collaborator feature that's available in list view. Just right there. Additionally, from here, list view, you can apply bold action to multiple posts, um, allowing you to update the statue or change assignment efficiently. So you select bulk, and then you select here what you want to do. Last but not least, you can efficiently manage interaction with your team by assigning states, assigning collaborators, filtering interaction, by assigning and creating save reply. Let's have a look. For instance, you can assign interaction to a specific team member to ensure comments and messages are handled by the most suited person. So just like this, you can choose the best suited colleagues. And you can see who has replied to a specific interaction and filter interaction by assigning 
to you, the ones you or your collaborators have been assigned. And that would be right there. Okay. So let's move on creating an approval workflow. Loomly offers specific workflow option to streamline your collaboration process from start to finish. So let's go back to calendar setting workflow. Here we are. So the two main workflow are the original workflow and the light workflow. The original workflow is ideal for larger teams where multiple people need to review and approve a post. The light workflow that's best suited for smaller teams where only one person is to approve a post. Additionally, Loomly offers custom workflow, which allows you to create tailor-made assignment triggers and state guards for each of your calendars. This is particularly useful if you have different methods for going through the content approval process. So when creating a custom workflow, you can use assignment triggers to ensure the appropriate users are always assigned to specific post statutes. For example, you can automatically assign one or more collaborators to a post when it is in the pending approval statute. So this means that whenever a post is pending approval, it will be assigned automatically to myself, for example, and my colleague Pete's. Additionally, you can control who can update the post state by configuring state guards. Shut there. So those guards will only allow the post state to change once it is acted upon by any or all of the required users. For instance, you can specify all relevant users who must approve a post. If any other users attempt to approve the post, the state guard will prevent the post statue from updating. So now let's see how you can establish a seamless internal communication with private comment. So you can enhance and promote communication by establishing effective workflows, as we just discussed, and private comment. And for that, I need to go back to my post. So within Loomly, you can communicate with your team through comments that's accessible uh, in list view and post view. So to leave a comment for a specific collaborators, simply mention them, type your comment, and press enter. Let me show you. Here you are. Well, these collaborators will be notified accordingly. And you will see that uh, post and comment history are available for all collaborators, ensuring everyone stays informed and can track every change. Additionally, if a comment requires your team's attention, you can pin it to the top of your post history to make sure everyone sees it when they view the post. That's available right there. Now let's move on on how you can manage your media asset with your library. The digital asset management is essential for anybody who works on a collaborative task with other teams members or departments, such as cross-functional teams. This is the ideal foundation of seamless and painless workflows with your team. That's in library. But the Lumbly library allows you to create post templates for you and your team, which is perfect for recurring format or post or future ID, uh, post ID. Additionally, we offer integration with Unsplash for high quality stock images and Google Drive for seamless team collaboration, making your workflow even more efficient. And if you are a Canva fan, you will enjoy our latest integration. You can swiftly import visual from the Loomly library into Canva for editing and optimization, and then seamlessly export Polish designs back to Loomly for scheduling. Um, wrapping this up, collaboration is the key part of modern day brand success. To effectively manage this relationship and reap the best reward, it is important to set clear points of contact for specific project, clearly define expectation, communicate openly and often, build a culture of honesty in all pursuit, and give as much as you receive. We created Noobly to make each of these action items much easier. In one collaborative platform, you can create seamless workflows, improve teamwork, and manage all of your digital assets in one central location. Okay, thank you again for joining us today. 
Uh, we hope that you enjoy this flash webinar. If you have any question, um, I'm going to leave the webinar open for a few minutes, though you can um, ask Mike, you can have a look at our FAQ. If you're still not sure that you find the answer you're looking for, you can reach out to us on our chat or at, uh, on our email at uh, contact at Thank you again for taking the time to uh, participate to this webinar. Have a great day.